Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Agmo with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 25th of February, starting off with Challenger Acquisitions. And uh, here you can see there's a line of resistance from November running through around the 0.18 level. Uh, end of day, end of week, close above that, the shares could. Uh, uh, finally uh, start uh, on a journey to retest uh, the main resistance of last year at 0.3 pence. Stop loss on the whole bull argument uh, currently back below the 50-day line at 0.14. Uh, on to Delarue, uh, stock, which type of stock I wouldn't normally cover, but uh, it's a bit of a thin day uh, for the hero, so we'll just see uh, what is going on there. There is a, a setup in, in terms of the uh, quite strong gap that we've seen through this uh, falling wedge uh, from the beginning of January. Uh, should uh, have a close above the 50-day moving average at 136, and at least while we're above that, uh, looking for a uh, decent upside. Could even go to try and fill that gap up towards the uh, 170 to 180 level, uh, which was left back in November. As I said, basically, uh, while we're above the 50-day line, then uh, looking bullish, only really back below today's intraday low, but actually not even risking that much, down to 130, which is really where the uh, line of resistance uh, was broken, uh, would be, uh, uh, would that early below that would really cancel the uh, bull argument or recovery argument on the stock, although I know it has been a very volatile situation fundamentally. Uh, on to uh, foreign uh, pharmaceuticals, which I've covered uh, several times before, but uh, nice to see it uh, still up on its way towards uh, a line of resistance heading currently towards 440 pence uh, and that target valid while we hold above uh, the old uh, December resistance at 318 pence. You can see that today uh, we actually had a low there at 335 so support now coming in above that old resistance. A near vertical move after that gap through the 50 day moving average. Uh, earlier this month. Uh, stock again which I've covered uh, several times before uh, so far successfully up from uh, 0.35 is Powerhouse Energy. Bit of a consolidation at the moment uh, I suppose between 130 and 150. Uh, need an end of day close above 150 to give us the next leg up uh, towards the top of a rising December uh, trend channel as high as 2.2 pence. And only really back below that uh, old uh, support there around the 1.16 level uh, really questioning the ongoing uh, a rally in this situation stock which is new to uh, the bulletin board heroes in the near term at least is uh, stm group uh, but we've had a nice gap here above the uh, 50 day moving average much higher low for the stock in february versus December and uh, January and uh, breaking a line of resistance I suppose uh, running from uh, the end of November uh, yesterday and we've, got, we've obviously got the gap higher today so above the 50 day line at 27 pence looking for further a significant upside uh, probably towards uh, 40 to 45 pence which would be the top of a rising uh, trend jan channel that I'm drawing at the moment. Uh, time frame on that the next uh, month or so would uh, probably do the trick. Uh, stock which I covered before as it has been rising uh, now making a new highs as well way education very impressive uh, uh, looking chart very impressive turnaround here I suppose the uh, uh, the turnaround came really with the uh, 15 200 day moving averages crossing there uh, in July and uh, we've had this saucer shaped rise ever since uh, which is all the more uh, positive uh, that means that we should be heading actually probably even higher than uh, uh, probably heading towards the 25 pence level, higher than the old uh, August peak uh, from last year. Uh, at the top of this rising trend channel, based at 14 pence, so above 14 pence, looking towards uh, 25 up to 30 pence over the next few weeks, uh, one would say. And ideally not really uh, visiting the, uh, even uh, filling that gap uh, as uh, ahead of it doing that particular uh, journey. Finish up with the stock from yesterday. As I said, it's a bit of a thin day today. Uh, tertiary minerals uh, was a bit wobbly yesterday, in fact, and uh, went back towards the uh, bottom of the end of the uh, triangle that was identified. But it looks like uh, if we close here, i.e. just above 0.4 or above, uh, there could be a reasonably uh, powerful uh, follow-through on the upside. 
uh, towards uh, 60.6.7p over the following few days. Just still waiting for the 200-day uh, moving to average to start rising. Uh, we really had a bounce for the RSI um, above the neutral 50 level, which is normally a leading indicator on, f on future near-term upside. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.